All right. I know in the previous video, I said we're going to jump into text, how we can work with text in Canva. But there's something that I really want to show you first before we drop into text. Okay, working with text. Okay, you can see that this image on this background is working so well because it's blending where you can almost tell that it's there to a great degree, especially knowing that the image color kind of blend with the background to a great extent, okay? But if you look at this, the same image on this background, you're finding the difficulty. You can just tell somehow that this image is not part of this background, especially with this hair, having this part here. So how are we going to make a little bit of blend with this background? Okay. So what we can do actually is to select the image, come to that, the same image edit and same on the adjustments. And there is this part that I want you to focus on, which is the tint and the temperature. Okay. Under the temperature we have, we have the warm temperature and the cool temperature. Okay. You can tell that this background here is giving this cool vibe, water vibe, um, shadowy, dark mood vibe. So what you can do to give this blend, because not every time you'll be able to touch all this because touching all this depend on the background and how much you want the image to blend with the background. So the first thing we can actually attempt to do is the temperature. Since the background temperature is cool, what we can do is to take down the temperature. Okay. I'm going to make it a little bit cooler. So instead of the image being hot, you can see that some of the image, um, some of the colors in the image have been taken out and being turned to a little bit of blue. Okay. So let's make it this way. And now we can actually come here. So of the contrast now we can take it down because we don't want much contrast and the highlights, we don't want it to be that high anymore. We just want to take it down. Okay. Cause we want the image to blend. We don't want it to be hot, hot. Some of the whites, we can take it down because we want to give the image a little bit of feel as to being part of this. And for the shadows, we can take it down a bit. Okay. And as you can see that there, there's no difference okay in what we had before okay and make sure our vibrance let's just take it remember vibrance is going to make your design hot hot okay it's going to make your design pop so most times we can even take down the vibrance because we don't want that um that harsh look anymore so we can just make it a little bit make sure that as you are sliding you are looking at the image okay it's not about the numbers here because at the end of the day there's something you want to achieve Let me close this there's something you want to achieve here. Always look at your design because your design is going to tell you, okay, I'm fine now. I'm not fine. Okay. So that's one thing you can do. You can see that this one is working well. And these two designs, they are not the same. Let me, let me click on this. Let's check it out in the grid view. And you can see that these two images. Let me zoom in so that you can see that properly. Um, let, me, let me take down. down. Now you can see these two designs. You can see this to design that this was blending well with this background well though we still have this part here let me let me zoom out there are other things you can actually do let me show you one trick double click on this whenever you're on that video double click on the image is going to come back to normal so let me also zoom out let me zoom in then on here let's zoom in so we're going to come here let's come to shape so let's search for light okay Let's search for light. We can use light to also achieve the same thing. Okay, we have in this one now, which is actually a pro version. Let's see if we can see free one. Mm, we're not having any free one. Let's see. Okay, we're having this one. Okay, let's use this one. This is red. So we're going to use the um, the dual tone to change the color. So let's come to dual tone. Where is dual tone? Where are you? Okay, this is the dual tone. So we can come here. Okay, it's actually a shape. So we can actually change this one. It's actually a shape. We can change the color. So let's pick the color of. Let's use this one now. Use the color picker and pick something from the background. Okay, so now we have it here like this. Okay, so we can actually place this one here. In a way let's zoom in and we can actually just take down the opacity okay and you can make it big uh, let's see opacity that thing that's a small okay so we can make a duplicate and just put it somewhere around the image in a way duplicate it uh something like this we can also make a duplicate and 
Let's place it somewhere. Let's make it soft, okay? Not something harsh, okay? And you can make it duplicate. Something like this. Okay. He's just going to take out those part there. And let's zoom out. So you can see, let's take down some of this opacity because I can still feel them there. And just take down the opacity. Come here, take down the opacity. And come here, take down the opacity. Okay. So you can see that it's almost giving this subtle vibe of being in the background. Okay, you may you may be noticing this now because you saw me doing it, okay? But in actual sense, I can really just take one of them and make it real big. Let me hold on the alt key while I'm doing this. And sometimes you can just place it here and just take down the opacity. This is going to act like a theme, okay? You can take it down very subtle, 4%, okay? But it's also giving this blend feel, okay? It may not actually be on the design, but you can see that it's almost blended with the background now. So these are some of the subtle things you can do to up your design. Even on this one, I can actually just come here and give a shift with the background by adding blur. You can click on blur, you can see the whole image and just add a little tint of blur. So that you can, you can look as if she's a little bit far from the background, okay? And just click backwards. And now we have this. He's gonna make it look sharp and put her on the focus. Okay, uh, this is almost not working. Maybe let's take down the blur and just come back to the blur and let's take it down. Let's take it down. I think I like it the way it was, but let's just okay. So we have this nice. Okay, so these are some of the subtle things that you can do in your design that I can just up your game in editing images okay and make it the image blend well with the background so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye